All right, everybody, how's it going? Um, Henry here. We're going to go over some appendix ultrasounds today. As you can see, there's a few here to go through. We'll begin with this one right here. All right, so right here you can see the psoas muscle. And then this is the appendix. You see that you can't see the layers of the intestinal mucosa that well. This one measured about 7 uh, millimeters, so it was probably early. Normal appendix is usually under 6 millimeters. So appendix, psoas. And a little bit of hyperemia. The next one measured just under six millimeters, but you can see it looks a little a little inflamed and very clearly you can see the fat stranding around it. This one was also hyperemic. All right, this is another one in transverse. Kind of hard to see, but attenuated image here. It's much larger than the prior two. All right, you can clearly see the tip of the appendix right here. It's attenuated a lot. So here's your appendix. Right there. Around it, you have the very egogenic fat, what they call fat stranding on CT. Ultrasound, egogenic inflammatory changes of the fat. All right, and then around it, you have free fluid, which is not very sensitive in uh, diagnosing perforation of the appendix. Um, but with other signs, you can suggest it, and obviously the surgeon has to decide whether to go to surgery or not, and then they'll know whether there's perforation or not. A little bit of hyperemia. This one did turn out to be perforated. It's the free fluid again there. One of the signs that kind of lend for perforation is you can't really see the layers very clearly of the appendiceal mucosa. You can kind of see maybe a track right here. So the measured 1.1 centimeter, pretty big. That's a better picture there. Here's another patient, quite bulbous, thinner, thinner walls, hypoechoic, fluid filled distended appendix. Some mild fat stranding around it, nothing too impressive. The size was 1.4 centimeters, pretty big. All right. And then here you have a uh, decompressed bladder and then free fluid anterior to the bladder. You would think that this is the bladder, but here's the bladder. All right. This was also a perforated appendix. All right, this one is a normal appendix. Here you can see the length of the appendix. And here's in transverse. You got to really develop a knife for it. Here you got your rectus abdominal muscle. This is the psoas muscle in transverse. And you can see a bit of the appendix right here, right there, medial to the iliac artery and iliac vein. So it's right here. So again, you have your iliac artery, iliac vein, and a little bit of appendix right there. It measured four millimeters. That's a normal measurement. Under six. Compressible. All right, this next one was pretty large. Uh, patient actually had several appendix ultrasounds over, over a four-year period. She even had an appendicitis seen on an x-ray. It was always negative. This last time, it was positive. There you can see... A very large appendix with a lot of fat stranding. And then that's here down to the tip with a very large appendicolith and free fluid, iliac artery and vein. And then in transverse, bladder to the right here. And a lot of fat stranding. This was also a perforated appendix. With, there you can see the wall of the appendix. Here's the appendicolith, iliac artery, iliac vein complex free fluid okay this next one is another normal appendix here you have your psoas muscle and you have what looks like two appendix which is just really appendix that's curved and you're cutting it through through you're, you're seeing two pieces of it all right so that's the tip right here measures five millimeters as normal again psoas muscle Here's another portion of it, more to the midsection of the appendix. 
Right, this next this next patient is also a normal appendix, a very beautiful gallbladder in the right upper quadrant. Down here, you can see what look like two appendixes. Again, it's an appendix that's curved on itself. Three millimeters as normal, compressible. Thin walls, you can clearly see the the gut signature. All right, this section measured five millimeters, but it was still compressible. And then here you can kind of see where it's curved. So with the beam, transverse beam is coming through here, you're seeing one and two. Here's another view showing it curved on itself. So if the beam comes through here on transverse, you're going to have two circles. All right. Very nice, beautiful, normal appendix. Trace-free fluid, which is normal. Especially in pediatric patients, you're going to sometimes see free fluid. Not a big deal. This part looks a little bit bigger, but it's compressible. Again, you can see it curving in on itself. No fat stranding. Clinically also, no, no signs of appendicitis. And this is a tip right here. And that's another view. You can see a little bit of air inside. That's also normal. Sometimes you can see fecal material, which make make the appendix non-compressible and actually bigger than six millimeters. But without any clinical or laboratory signs, those are also appendicitis. Again, you can see the air there. Got signature. All right, this other appendix is also curved on itself. Is dilated. You can barely notice a wall. Fat stranding. One appendicolith. Two appendicoliths. There you can see it clear. This is a pretty big one too, measured 1.5 centimeters. The bigger they get, the more likely they are to perforate. Tiny, tiny bit of free fluid, right? We begin the right upper quadrant, gallbladder. This portion of the liver is normal. The liver, the kidney is hyperechoic, which could be medical renal disease or in his case, an inflammatory or infectious process. So here's a transverse appendix measuring four millimeters. Again, psoas muscle. Here's another segment of it. No hyperemia. This is in sagittal. So is muscle again. This is another normal appendix, right upper quadrant, gallbladder, kidney, liver, normal. In the right lower quadrant, a lot of gas, you can't really see anything. More lower in the inguinal fossa, you can see the psoas muscle, still more gas, no sign of an appendix. All the way lateral, though. You can see a transverse appendix. Here's the iliac crest right here. So always, you know, move out as lateral as possible. Move medial. I've seen appendixes draping the the vertebrae. You can see it up by the right upper quadrant and more near Morrison's pouch. That's another view of it. Thin walls. Gut signature looks nice. That's sagittal. Four millimeters. Well, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll link to the full appendix video where I go over more details and techniques. Thank you. Take care.